I have a bit of a problem. Here we have a totally naturally generated cliff face. It's absolutely gorgeous, if I do say so myself as well. This seed really is quite something for beautiful landscapes. And then over here, we have got another totally naturally generated floating island. And I want to create a bridge that takes me from this over to this. But you see, I'm a little bit lazy. I don't want to build it. So I want to build a redstone contraption that builds it for me because that seems far simpler. I mean, that much less effort, surely. Okay, I could be potentially wrong there, but it shouldn't be too ridiculously difficult due to the fact that we now have honey blocks and slime blocks not sticking to one another. This means that we can kind of create flying machines that crash into one another, but then we can separate them, which is, it's amazing for things like bridge building because you can see, look, all of these blocks, they're next to one another, but these are actually separate. They can move separate of one another, which is good. I'm not doing a very good job at explaining this so far. So I guess I'll just have to try my best to show you. Don't worry, this looks very complicated. It will be explained in a second. Let's just remove this block and yeah, do a quick backup because there is a very high chance that this won't work on the first time. Then all I have to do is remove this block right here and we should see our, our bridge started moving. And then, yes, it did break. These observers need to be one block lower. I did tell you, I mean, I, I told you. So as I was saying, if we just update this observer right here, our bridge will start to assemble itself. Off it goes, and hopefully I've measured everything correctly. Which by the looks of things, I totally haven't. But you get the picture. Bridge has kind of been assembled, <laughs> except we've just got a bit of a jump to do at the start of it. Then if we want our bridge to retract back into the wall, then all we have to do is kickstart our flying machine in the opposite direction and everything will be retracted away. This, it looks pretty smart, doesn't it? So what on earth is happening here? Okay, so here we have a bunch of stacked modules. You can think of these things as being blocks in of themselves. Now what these observer lines are doing is, is pushing out this block. So this observer is doing that. So it's checking it out. Then this observer is going to push this one across which will then cause an update through the observer, which will push the next module along, and then that will kind of do a chain reaction, and then this one will do another chain reaction. So now all of these things are separated. Now the reason that they have to be separated is because otherwise the back piston is gonna have to push all of those blocks, which it can't because obviously the 12 block push limit. Then when we kickstart our flying machine, you just have to think that that chain reaction is going to happen every single block that this flying machine moves across. So then we have like a big moving mass of blocks. And when these blocks at the end crash into the island, you'll see that actually they all stack up and form one solid structure. Now the way back is a lot easier because we don't have to do any of that pushing stuff. So when it starts moving backwards, it really is incredibly simple because they're all just being dragged along. Makes sense. I think that made sense. It made sense to me. I hope it made sense to you. Now the cool thing about these expandable bridges is that not only are they expandable in this direction, you could have a massive, massive, massive long bridge, but also they're expandable in this direction too. So I'm gonna make this thing three wide. And activate. Now is this not one of the most satisfying things that you can see in Minecraft? I mean, look at that and listen to that as well. It sounds fantastic. So there we go, bridge all successfully built. We can now travel over to the other island. And then if we make our way back and flick this lever, everything will be removed and retracted away. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love these things. Just when I thought the honey block couldn't get any cooler, this happens. All right, okay, so this is all well and good. This is this is quite a nice and simple design, okay? It's it's nothing too crazy. We've got some zombies in there too. But yeah, redstone-wise, it, it's not nuts. What if we were to go nuts, though? This genuinely wasn't what I had in mind, but I'm going to entertain the idea because, well, ab apparently Minecraft doesn't like it. They've literally raided on my parade. But I'm, I think I think I might be able to build a staircase that assembles itself out of the ground, like going upwards. A staircase to heaven, as you will. And of course, that staircase would need to be able to retract. And that's where things begin to get challenging. But I I might have come up with something smart. Although I don't like saying that. 
But the idea is, is that this observer right here, uh, it's kind of difficult to explain. So this, this flying machine here is going to be separate to a flying machine that is going to be here. When this flying machine goes downwards, that will trigger that observer starting up a flying machine, which will then begin the process of retracting down the staircase in chunks. This is even more difficult to describe. <laughs> And I'm not even 100% certain it's going to work, and now a cloud's going through my build. So let's turn off clouds, make a backup, and try it out. Let's just see what happens. So here we have our ground level. Up there is where we want to go. Down here we have our staircase ready to be transported. And if we flick this lever here, you can see actually the staircase does move. <laughs> Okay, so we've assembled a staircase that goes upwards, but to be honest, that was kind of the easy bit. I sort of knew that was going to work. The bit that's tricky is the chaining of these flying machines, because we need this flying machine right here to activate the flying machine next to it. And it's going to do that using this iron block next to this observer. And all we have to do is update this observer here, and that should start it, and it looks like it's working. And it has actually functioned. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so that actually works. <laughs> so we can now create gigantic moving staircase. <laughs> this is like something out of Harry Potter. And weirdly enough, if you only want it to be one block wide, it actually works without honey blocks. You could do this just with slime blocks. They're not actually touching one another. So I think we all know what comes next. I need to create a gigantic pop out of the floor hidden staircase. And yes, as you can see, I've changed worlds partly because it's ugly, but partly because this merits its own world. And when I said it's ugly, I didn't mean this is ugly. I personally think this is beautiful. I just, that world was becoming a massive mess. Anyway, I've managed to get myself set up with all of these flying machines here. So here are all of the actual flying machines themselves. As you can see, the staircase is hopefully going to be four blocks wide once it is done. And this is how high it should go. Frantic backups later. I think we might be ready for our first test. All right. Okay, staircase is going up. And has been assembled, which looks absolutely nuts. That looks seriously, seriously cool. And then the way down is also all functioning too. <laughs> This is the best thing ever. This genuinely might be one of the most fun things to watch. Check that out. <laughs> that is epic. That is seriously epic. Once we add in the actual door that this thing's going to pop out through. Oh, I don't even know what I'm going to be able to say. That was pointless. Me flicking the wrong lever there just totally ruined that big moment. You know, that's now that clip's just embarrassing. So let's forget about that very, very quickly and start work on the trapdoor, the thing that's going to open up revealing our staircase, which obviously is going to fly out of it. So how is this looking? If we flick this lever right here, you can see that is it closed, which is pretty cool. And then flicking this lever, that is it opening. Now I'm hoping that this should be a design that I can also tile together. So once again, we are making use of honey blocks and slime blocks here to do something impressive. I, I've i said it so many times now, but I honestly, I, I can't imagine Minecraft without the honey block already. <laughs> like seriously, the fact that I'm just able to do this now it's the best thing ever. Now, if you're wondering why this opening is so complicated, obviously it is a four wide opening. That is by design actually a little bit challenging, but it's extra complicated because we need to make sure that we clear this thing by one extra block because we don't want any of the, the parts of our staircases getting stuck to anything or any parts of our trapdoors getting stuck to our staircases. And I think we can all agree that it's a rather wonderful looking mechanism. There it is closed. And there it is open. These things are so ridiculously fast. Now, obviously, that's just one half of it. The other half is going to be constructed. We need to make sure that the slime blocks don't line up with the slime blocks and the honey blocks don't line up with the honey blocks. Otherwise, our door is going to stay very, very firmly closed. I imagine this in of itself is actually going to look pretty satisfying. That it does. Wow, that looks awesome. <laughs> that looks seriously, seriously cool. I could watch that sort of thing all day. But I tell you what, I think the whole system looks a lot better. By the way, this is about an hour and a half later. Here we are. First off, look how cool it looks. 
I mean, obviously, this thing's absolutely massive. If you were to build this in survival mode in an actual Minecraft world, you would need to dig a gigantic trench to fit all the redstone inside. But you know what? I would say it's worth it because this might just be my favorite opening and closing sequence of anything in Minecraft. I, I just think it's fantastic. I mean, look at this. Look, we flick the lever. Everything opens up and a staircase just appears out from underneath the ground. <laughs> And then just just stacks up like that. So then we can make our way up to the top of the platform. This is a long staircase, by the way. That is actually pretty tall. And then if we flick the lever, I think this might be my favourite part. I mean, just look at that. Is that not the best thing ever? I think this might just be the best thing ever. And then look, everything just closes up. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing, isn't it? It is just absolutely brilliant. Honey blocks and slime blocks. I've said it. I've said it about five times in this video. I've probably said it about a hundred times in total. The best things in Minecraft, hands down. This is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video. It's not gonna get any better from here, so I'm out. I'll see you later. I, I, yeah, I, I actually think I could. I say it often, but I mean it for this one. I genuinely think I could watch that all day. Might be, I think it is my favorite looking redstone contraption. I think that there's just something about it that's so cool, and it's so funny because I had no intention of building that today, but the idea just came to my head halfway through, and I thought I had to try it out.